In the beginning, the Colossus came into the wild with his crystal of power. Order was bestowed upon all things, and the creatures of the wilderness praised and embraced the Colossus. From these, the Colossus fame with the Shin, for they were the most alike to him in mind, and they loved him more than all others. The Colossus appointed the Shi as the guardians of the world, breaking a shard from his crystal so that they could assist him in his work. Together, they created a golden age, a paradise under the light of the crystal, and everything was good. However, as his designs were realized, the Colossus tied leaving the Shi as custodians of his way. The Shi watched as the Colossus climbed the great mountain to sleep and never to return. The light of the crystal faded. An age passed, and with the crystal shard, the Shi maintained dominion over the land, though their hearts still yearned for the guidance of the Colossus. And most of all, for the power of the great crystal. Yearning soon turned into discontent, and whispers turned to cries of rage against the Colossus. How can we continue his work without the power of the true crystal? The masters of the Shin plotted. Yet none would dare to speak of the darkness that grew in their hearts. We must steal the crystal. A great council was called, and the truth finally voiced. A champion was chosen, and the Shin's fate was sealed. The journey was arduous, but armed with the power of the crystal shard, they ascended to the peak. The Colossus had set no guard on the crystal, and the taking was easy. But for a moment, the champion faltered. To steal from thy father? But the power of the crystal silenced her protest. The council roared, but celebration was marred by claims to the crystal. Lust for power blinded the noble she, and all hope was lost. Though they sought at first to use the crystal to illuminate the wild as in ages past, their greed would lead them only to war. The crystal was broken. Once at first, then again, until its pieces were spread all across the world, and darkness reigned. With each division, the crystal's power faded. With every splinter, the hearts of the sheep became more bitter and bent on possession and death. Forest burned and mountains crumbled under the tyranny of greed. All was wild again, and the Colossus awoke. The Colossus howled, Return to me, my crystal, you know not its power. But the she had gone too far to turn from their mind. Weeping, the Colossus filled his being with the world's blackness, and the land was cured. The she gazed in awe as the once radiant Colossus transformed into a terrible black wolf. His rage was as fire, and he gathered all fragments of the crystal to him. All order was lost, the age of the Colossus was over, and the memory of the crystals faded. Chaos reigned, and the wolf prowled the wild, fiery black and broken-hearted until the end of time.